I know. None of it makes any sense. There's a desert on a mountain? What? The best quarterback in the world is playing his worst football and is undefeated? Huh? C.J. Stroud threw for 86 yards? What? Trevor Lawrence has won two of his last three games? Yes. It's all true and it's all confusing. So to sort it all out, let's keep climbing. Mahomes Mountain. That's not the mountain, but that's what, you know, we're saying all things are confusing. I think I'm so small. <laughs> I'm on a ledge. That's not how I really walk. <laughs> what do you mean you're on a ledge? I'm on we that, saw it. You're on, on a, that you're ledge. On a you're on a desert plane. Side, but I, I like looked over. Plane. No, it's walking. Well, that's how you like normally walk. Like like very, you don't see yourself confusing. walk. We see you walk every day. That's how you walk. That's how I look? You, you don't yeah, have a like, like, you a like you're a touch pregnant. You don't have That's how you walk. Just All right, to the mountain. Is that true? Yeah. Bert, yeah, it is true. Unfortunately. We have to show you who's off the mountain, and this also is confusing because a lot – it's not players. It's teams off the mountain because we don't know who their quarterbacks are. So just show it to us. The Raiders, who's the quarterback? You're, whoever it is, they're off. Huh. The Saints, they're off. The Dolphins, until Tua comes back, they're off. The Titans, is it Mason Rudolph? Is it Will Levis? They're off. The Panthers, they're going to go back to Bryce. He did complete two passes. Somehow it was for negative four yards, but he did get back in the game. <laughs> they're off, and Daniel Jones, he's off. Greg, tough. Sorry, Greg. Really? Uh, but yeah. we want to put Daniel Jones on because it's probably the last week we're going to see his face on the mountain because we all know next week he's getting benched for Drew Locke, and then he's gone. Wow. Bottom of the mountain. Russell Wilson, I thought he'd never show back up on the mountain. I got to be honest with you. I thought it was going to be Justin Fields' job. Russell was going to be off. Not only does he show up on the mountain, he shows up green. He's moving up. The young kids, Drake May, Bo Nix, Anthony Richardson. Fun game to play if you're just kind of checking into Colts games. At the end of the game, Anthony Richardson, more or less than 10 completions. There's no way to tell. It's going to be right around there. And But then if it's 10, it might be 220 yards. It could be 60 yards. You have no way to tell. Marcus Mariota makes the mountain, stepping in for Jaden Daniels. And I'm, listen, I'm not saying anything. What I am saying is he had 78% completions, 205 yards, 123 rating. And to quote Cam Taylor Britt, it was a pretty nice college offense he was running right there. Ah. Jameis Winston, who I think is going to be the new starter in Cleveland, also makes the mountain. Level six, Kyler, I don't know, man. I just don't know. The runs are dope. Everyone, he's just kind of scurrying around. He looks good. He can make good throws. But then you look, you're like at 140 yards. I don't totally get it. Kirk Cousins, since the 500-yard game, come back down to earth a bit. And that was a, that's a bad Seattle defense that everyone's been carving up that he couldn't. Uh, Sam Darnold maintains despite the loss because the mountain is fair. Mountain's on pumpkin watch, but the mountain's fair. Sam played fine. Aaron Rodgers, honest to God, man, I, I wanted to drop you. I couldn't, even I couldn't find someone on the road beneath you to put above you. I thought about Russ. I really did, but it would have made Brew too happy. <laughs> then there's Brock Purdy. People thought he was going to plummet. Just drops one row. Three Man. interceptions, one in the end zone. You know, a lot, it, 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 you know, can't beat Mahomes. That's fine. Nobody can. Drops. And Wild said it. Trevor Lawrence cooked up what I was told was a great defense. That's true. I was told it was a great defense. And Trevor, well, a little soft. What? Okay, well, I was able to lose a great there, defense. Definitely Trevor, see. the slow climb back up to glory. Level five. Trevor, Listen, Jaden Daniels. What's the only concern about Jaden Daniels? Might be a little frail. Might get hurt. And as a skinny guy that right now has injured ribs, let me tell you, it's not going to heal anytime soon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's Greg. I, I've been asking Greg for, I asked Greg for some medical tips earlier. Yesterday, I showed him where the injury was. He just started laughing at me for my lack of muscle definition. Here's the thing. That's, I, so I, I know how Jaden's feeling. It's not going to be great. And the team said it's week to week. He has to drop. Matt Stafford stays where he is. Justin Herbert was just a perfect Justin Herbert game. 370 yards, 11 dimes, zero touchdowns. Don't know. Dak was on a bye. He stays where he is. Jalen Hurts moves up the mountain. I thought Jalen Hurts played the best game he's played in 15 games, Le like legitimately. I thought he played excellent, yeah. and so he moves up. Now to level four. Tough spot for Baker Mayfield. From the top of Brew's ballot to row four of the mountain and with no Mike Evans for a few weeks, no Chris Godwin the rest of the year, we'll see what he's able to do. Caleb on a bye, so he stays where he is. Jordan Love, it's, he's exciting. 
I mean, there, there are some really questionable decisions, but some really high-level throws. One of his touchdowns also could have lost him the game. It is a true, sorry, Josh Allen, roller coaster with Jordan, <laughs> but I'm enjoying it. And Geno, quietly, just leading the league in passing, just good yards, just cooked up Atlanta. Bro, every time, look at, at my face. Look, I, I said Gino, Gino, I'll pump he, you out. He just I like Gino. It. I got it. You I know just what? think you wax and look too eloquent about Gino. Okay, I, I think he's a good player. He talks about Gino like he's. No, I think he's. I, I think Gino is a really good player. Oh, I do oh. think that. Row three, Jared Goff. Shout out to my buddy Lazlo on the radio in Kansas City, 99 The Rock, who watches this segment every week. Detroit Lion fan and hit me two weeks ago during the segment. Your Jared Goff disrespect is infuriating. I mean, that's fair. And I thought about it, and I was like, you know what? Guy's been cooking. You Let's think? move him up. Said- <laughs> Guy's been cooking. I moved him up. Well, he's a green. I don't know how high you want him. It's the best. I, I, I don't know Little how. three game run in NFL history. Oh, I thought Lamar was on that. I don't know. Everybody's got the best ever, the best this, the best that. I don't know. Pass what I know rating. is I moved him up. C.J. Stroud threw for 85 yards. You got to go down. Joe yeah. Burrow, I didn't think really played that well this week, but they got to no. win. They needed to win. He stays where he is. Now to the controversy. Reveal wrote it. Josh Allen had a hell of a game this weekend. 300 plus yards, finds Amari Cooper. What Lamar is. is I mean, what are we doing? What do you mean? What are we doing? I had five touchdowns yesterday. Who are you talking about? Who had five touchdowns? The guy with no. five touchdowns. Oh, Lamar? Touchdowns. Yeah. Oh, oh so, so, uh, so you uh, want him lower? Okay. You, oh, okay. So they're saying that I get it. My apologies. Reveal the top of the mountain. These folks here are going to argue today that the quarterback that they all say is the best in the league, who they love quarterback wins and he hasn't lost, and he's the defending Super Bowl and two-time Super Bowl and two-time Super Bowl MVP, and he had the single best play of the weekend by anyone, truck sticking Mustafa to beat the defending NFC champions, he should drop down the mountain. The mountain knows better. That, my friends, is Mahomes Mountain Week 8. Looking like you've been into a sour jawbreaker. Make me sick, Kevin Wilds. Jesus. Go ahead. Wow. Wow. But defensive. I'm with you, you, Wilds. Look, Lamar should be atop the mountain. This is this is Jackson's Jebel. And if you're asking yourself at home, what is a Jebel? Well, it's a range of mountains. Don't worry about it. (laughs) This is why it's a range. When you look at what this man has been doing, I'm just going to celebrate you. Because for far too long, I've kind of questioned who you were as a passer. And I'm I'm, I'm owning that. Just as loud as I was then, I'm going to be very loud now. You have been absolutely outstanding. Absolutely electric. Yeah. And guess what he hasn't been using a ton of? His legs. He's just been using his arm. Last night, five touchdowns. Just been extremely special. And oh, by the way, he just might do what I questioned, what many questioned he would be able to do for the third time in his career, which is possibly win another MVP. Because when you look at the numbers in 2019, 2023, which were his MVP years, Look at the completion percentage. What are we? What? Are, what's the trend? Wait it, a his second. last five. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Wait, you don't have showing, to wait. You're, you're not, not doing his full season. <laughs> we don't. We you're don't not even, doing his full season. Can, can no, we? Can we please? Games. Can I continue? I mean, it, yeah. You yeah, turn the corner because it's a it's a tapestry. It's a rich tapestry. I understand, so but the graph doesn't rich, make sense. It's a rich tapestry. Because when you look at 2019 MVP year, 66 completion percentage, 67. Obviously, he's going up in 71. Total yards per game. Well, he's sitting above 300 yards per game in the last five games. Total touchdowns and turnovers. We've been praising Josh Allen for his lack of turnovers. Well, Jamar, Jamar, Lamar is right there. He's special. He's doing this. And this is not rushing touchdowns only this is passing yeah. he only has two rushing touchdowns just so everybody and only is clear one interception because f- three of the four turnovers are fumbles, fumbles. Yeah. exactly no i give him credit everything that he's been doing in I these last the five season. weeks has been very special <laughs> there is absolutely no way mm. on god's green earth oh. mm. and on a mountain named mahomes that it should remain patrick mahomes atop okay, that can mountain. I ask a question Ask the question. Why aren't you caping for Jared Goff? 
I if think. Lamar should be ahead of Mahomes, well, I could have done that. Certainly, I could at least I golf didn't play Mahomes this year. I could have done that. I talked about golf yesterday, but Lamar I'm last just asking, night. Because here's the thing. He has such and, a great the, game. The, I, figured, I, I you know understand. What? I get it. The all, the last thing that happened is the only thing that's ever happened. And Jared Goff's great game was all the way two days ago. Dude. So yesterday, so that what happened yet? Because if you're gonna make the case for Lamar based on since week two. Which is all your graphic showed was since week two. You're like, we're going to pretend the first two weeks of the season didn't start. Can we show Lamar? Well, you're versus basing golf? it off of Can we? history no, of I'm, I'm, Super Bowl I'm not, wins. I'm and not even all arguing about Mahomes. Oh, wow. I'm not even arguing about Mahomes. That's your golf on there. Because uh, I knew you were going to do a little chicanery and it's throw all- out. <laughs> and by the way, a little cool statistical trick, America, if you want to do what Greg Jennings did. If you take out t- guys' bad games, <laughs> all they play is good games. In a row. I, lo- I, just, no, I love it. I'm row. just telling you. That's well, fair. The, it I, is fair? Yeah, if you do it consecutively. I I, I got, okay, so look. like if somebody showed you somebody's last 12 games, that's fair. I'm just curious. Well, well, regardless, that Nick does Super that all the time. The, you, the, that was your favorite go-to what? move with the Prince. What do you mean? The sick last six games of last year and the first three of this yeah, year you've okay. been phenomenal yeah, that, all right that's fine i'm just saying if you're gonna cape for lamar today then it's got to be golf as well well move them both up above there Mahomes. you go okay at least there's some intellectual consistency i appreciate that <laughs> Rue, go ahead all right look there's a saying and greg obviously knows it well we all know it you don't lose your starting job to injury okay i know that one so why should you fall on the the mountain for injury? Here's another set. And here's what's and, the and, best ability, look, Brew? I, 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 I know <laughs> Nick. I know Nick very well. I think I've been co-hosting now three years. I've been on the show as yeah, a guest since absolutely. the beginning. I, I know how life. he moves. And that little thing he said about Marcus Mariota. Yeah. <laughs> look at those numbers. 200 something yards. That <laughs> wasn't about Mariota. It wasn't about Mariota. Who, who does that? It was about Jaden. It was like Look at this guy doing damage. He, Jaden, maybe it's just simple. Kind of the, the Brock Purdy, Jimmy Garoppolo argument with Kyle Shanahan. So that was a knock at Jaden. Here's my answer. Caleb's only group? the second best rookie. Jaden should be ahead of Caleb. If you want to switch Caleb him, whatever. Caleb drop. He was but, on a bye. That's if, cool. Well, then move Jaden up somewhere Jeez. ahead of Caleb. Here's the deal. We all showing graphics. Look at this one. Because Caleb's been balling the last four weeks, but Jay's been balling since he entered the NFL. Higher passer, everything is better. Passer rating, completion percentage, TD to interception ratio, rush TDs, quadrupling, pass yards. Okay, Caleb's got that. That that doesn't always mean a lot, right? And then yards per it's attempt. Not a big deal. No, because you throw a lot of yards. We all know you get behind. You, you get that. behind, right? You throw a lot of yards. Also, Gino yeah, leads the league I, in passing. And, and Gino's good. <laughs> Um, the reason Caleb's, I'm sorry, Jaden's yards per game all of a sudden's low is because he had six in this last Right. Game. Right. Why so he, he would six? even be, because he got hurt. Yeah. But that's the thing. You shouldn't drop because you got hurt. Unless. Here's the other thing. Oh, you here, have more. Here, oh, sorry. There, oh, there, there is more, my man. There is more. All right. Jaden has beaten two three-win teams. Caleb, you said it last week. Yeah. I mean, he's doing it against the dregs of the league. He had, he's beaten, hadn't beaten a team with more than two wins. Oh. All right. And Jaden, who's the one that everybody said, oh, my gosh, we've never seen a rookie quarterback come into the league with so much around him. I agree with almost everything you said, including the first part, which the Marcus Mariota commentary, I was doing exactly what you saw what I was doing, <laughs> which I I'm just telling it. you I right now, it. if Marcus Mariota in Jaden's absence cooks and looks better than he's ever looked, then I will absolutely put a little hmm on Jaden's success. If a player that we know isn't awesome plays awesome, then it contextualizes anyone else's success with that team, with that system. That's just how I logically look at sports. Steve Young. You guys get mad. Say it again. Look, Steve Young. No, Steve Young, we in, knew in, was awesome, ended up proving he was awesome. But yes, there was yeah. real. That's why when I didn't know you were going to bring up Steve Young from 30 years ago, but I'm old enough to remember when Steve Young won the Super Bowl and his teammates figuratively but literally pulled a monkey off his back because the question was, can you do what everyone else did here, meaning Joe Montana? So, yes, that did happen to Steve Young. The second point I will make is this. He got hurt. 
because he took a regular NFL hit to the ribs. Regular. And nobody wow. wants, I, this is a weird spot oh, no. when the whole reason I didn't believe in a guy was because I was worried he was going to get hurt. And then before Halloween is rookie year, he's week to week with a rib injury. I hope I'm wrong about him, but the early returns are he might get dinged up a lot because he's my size. You know what's 100% guaranteed in this league? What? You're going to get hurt. Okay, that, I mean, that's, that, that is true and it's not in that there's a lot of quarterbacks. In fact, the majority of great quarterbacks get through their rookie season without having to miss time because of injury. Quarterbacks different than other positions. Wilds, go ahead. We've got a vacation coming up after the Super we Bowl. Do? Yeah. Oh, after the Super Bowl. After that's, the Super Bowl, we have a ways Well, you got to plan yeah. these things early. Uh-huh. So we're planning our vacation. We said, how about we go here? How about we go there? It's beautiful places. Places that you would just love to go and spend a decent amount of money trying to get to these places. You know why? Because they're beautiful and wonderful and the best places in the world. That's how I feel about Patrick Mahomes. But the travel agent says, you can't go to this spot right now. Too rainy. Rainy season. Having a down time. So, okay. That, that thing's got to go. That thing loses our, uh, is out of not the vacation. I did. Not saying it's not a beautiful place. Right. It's paradise. Right. But at the moment, when we want to go, it's no good. That's Patrick Mahomes right now. Mm. It's just doubling down. It just is what it is. It's wow. a beautiful place that right now is in the rainy season. I'm not saying it's not beautiful as paradise, but it's no good. Right now, it's not good. Right now. Here are the stats. Mahomes on a statistical slide. He says it in every press conference he's not playing well. This, this is not good. What? Uh, is, do you have more full screens or just this? Well, I have the other one that we bang on every quarterback yeah. when they do this. Let it's like your favorite thing. What? And now he he took the lead in this. QB wins. I'm a QB wins guy. At 28. <laughs> Games with a turnover. Oh, it's, oh, yeah. it's quite an accomplishment to, to top a Will Levis. Levis. Wow. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a, too much. The yeah. team is overcoming this play. Wow. That's no, that's. I, I love Patrick Mahomes, oh. and I'm a quarterback wins guy. But someone's got to do it. Hold on, nice hold on. Why? Someone's got to do it. Wilds. Can yeah, I so ask an honest question here? What? Because you're the one making this case. Here's because this is very important that the audience knows this from me. Because when Coach is here, he assigns me takes I didn't have. You have not heard, and no one has heard me say Mahomes played great this year. No one's heard but me say Mahomes played is played good this year. I've said he has made great plays, individual moments. I've said that. Of course, And he has plays. stayed atop the and mountain football. out of the pure and obvious logic of when everyone acknowledges he's the best player in the league and he hasn't lost all year and they're the two-time defending Super Bowl champions, it would be silly to drop him. But I have a question for you, Wilds, because you made this case. You're the one who said, I'm going to take this on. What is the only stat you actually care about when it comes to quarterbacks? Well, that quarterback wins. Yeah, maybe. I like it. No, that don't I say mean, that. Quarterback <laughs> wins. I, mean, I love I mean, quarterback maybe. wins. I mean, maybe. But there needs I mean, to no, be no, more volatility no, w- on the mountain. Wilds. You should be. Let's Wilds. have Sam Darnold go w- up there. Wilds. Wilds. I see Sam it. Darnold just lost. Quarterback wins. I'm a quarterback wins I know. guy. I, I didn't you know want to have to you make know what? this case. You know what, KW? But people are going to be in the comments. How can he have a KW. Someone's got to do it. Real quick. Two things. One is, KW, you're... Whimsical charm is swaying me a bit on the quarterback wins argument. That's first of all. Finally. Second of all, oh, it's swaying. get out of the comments. You can't program <laughs> the show or your takes based on the YouTube comments, bro. Like, I thought this was something that I needed to tell my yeah. kids. I can't believe we have to tell you. Get out of the comments. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.